interactions in estuaries and intertidal zones. Science 5, Week 7, Quarter 2. This lesson will discuss the interactions of organisms to their physical environment. Specifically, this part of the module will give you different activities that will describe such interactions in estuaries and intertidal zones. Estuaries are areas where salt water and fresh water meet fish water. Normally, running water in rivers goes into the sea. Water in estuaries is less salty. The measure of salt in water is called salinity. Thus, the estuaries have low salinity. The level of salt content of water affects the ability of the organism to survive. For our first learning, learning task number one, Organisms require energy to perform life activities. In this case, they need to eat food. Analyze the figure at the right. Observe the pattern how organisms interact and get energy or eating and fill in the blanks based on the figure. Number one, plankton may be eaten by... Number two... Heron eats, number three, salmon eats, number four, shrimp may be eaten by, and five, freshwater mollusk, for example, snail may be eaten by. And these are the correct answers. Plankton may be eaten by small fish, crab, mussel. Heron eats salmon, small fish. Number three, salmon eats small fish, stone fly larva. Number four, shrimp may be eaten by salmon. And five, freshwater mollusk may be eaten by salmon. Intertidal zones. Intertidal zones are area where the presence of water depends on the tides. During high tide, these are covered with water. During low tide, the water diminishes and exposes the part of seabed area. This part of the sea can be sandy, rocky, or muddy depending on the presence of different materials. For learning test number two, just like in estuaries, organisms in intertidal zones need energy to live through eating food. Analyze the figure and observe the different organisms and imagine how they interact and get energy or eating. Fill in the blanks based on the figure. Note, answer may not be in the illustration. And this is the figure. Number one, hermit crab eats. Number two, limpet may be eaten by. Number three, algae may be eaten by. Four, sea urchin eats. And number five, chitons and limpets may be eaten by and these are the answers for number one seaweeds algae rock and weed number two sea anemone a uh, tree bird or hearing gall number four periwinkle, kelvin pet and crab and number five bird or hearing gall or seagull for learning test number three, in both, in both estuary and inter, intertidal zone, organisms have different roles to perform. In this task, identify the organism that perform the given roles. Choose the word or group of words in the box. Salt, marsh grasses, algae, phytoplankton, lichens, cyanobacteria, sea urchins, green crabs, mollusk, anemone, fish, selfish, marine snail, small crab, Sand fleas, diatoms, fungi, bacteria, tube worms, fiddlers, detritus feeders, and sea weeds. And this is the table or the column where you need to answer the organism. The role is producer. They are organisms that produce food 
from sunlight and inorganic substances. Consumers, they are organisms that eat other organisms. Scavengers, they are organisms that eat food, scraps, and leftovers. And de decomposers, they are organisms that break down into simpler materials, uh, the remains of dead organisms. And these are the answers. For producers, we have salt marsh grasses, algae, phytoplankton, lichen, cyanobacteria, and seaweeds. For consumers, we have sea urchins, green crabs, mollusk, anemone, fish, sunfish. In scavengers, we have marine snail, small crab, sand fleas. And for the composers, we have diatoms, fungi, bacteria, tubeworms, fiddlers, detritus, feeders, and seaweeds. For learning task number four, make a model of uh, ecological or energy pyramid showing the arrangement of producers, consumers, scavengers, and decomposers. You may include the organisms that you answer in learning task B. You may use scrap materials in making the 3D model of ecological pyramid. The figure on your right uh, gives you the idea of the content of the pyramid. You may ask your teacher for the rubric of the activity. And this is the sample of an answer to that activity. And that ends our lesson for week 7 of our Science 5. Thanks for listening. Happy learning. Bye-bye.